Uri Slavkovsky scores and everything's good. Everyone's happy. Are you good? You good? You good? Are you good? Slavkovsky had a really nice game in this one against the Ottawa Senators. It was fun to watch. He had so many chances. He just had the one goal, and that goal came off of a very nice play from Raphael Harvey Pinard and Kirby Doc along the boards. Harvey Pinard gets the puck loose, and it comes to Kirby Doc. He puts it out front. William Trudeau kind of whiffs on it, and then the puck still makes its way over to Slavkovsky. He roofs it. He buries it. Smiles everywhere. Slav's nodding on the bench. Yeah, that's right, Slavy. Yeah, you know what's up, buddy. You're feeling good right now. And uh, the rest of the way, Slavkovsky had a really nice game. He had a nice feed up from Cole Caulfield, got a breakaway chance. Corpusello makes the nice save. He exaggerates it, of course, because why not? I guess. I don't know. It's preseason. Do whatever you want. But if Slav would have slid it along the ice to finish off that play, he might have beat you might have beat him. I don't know. That's easy for me to say in hindsight, I guess. We know that the Ottawa Senators did not ice their best team in this game. Josh Norris, Drake Batherson, Brady Kachuk. So we know that there were some advantages in terms of just the skill level versus the Canadians in this preseason game. But regardless, the Habs come away with the win. But let's continue to talk about Slavkovsky's game for a minute. And the rest of the way, he had a lot of great chances. Martin St. Louis wanted him to get a lot more puck touches, and he absolutely did that. In this game, you saw that nice backhand chance in the third period. He had open looks. He had a little bit more time and space, maybe because the competition wasn't fully NHL quality. But regardless, a really encour encouraging performance, one of the best performances I think we've seen preseason or regular season from, from Slavkovsky. So it was fun to watch. Whatever it takes to get his confidence up, maybe you don't necessarily have to send him down to Laval to get his confidence up. Let him get some good preseason reps get into the NHL season, get on a good line and start producing, get 30, 40 points and just keep pushing. That was a really long winded segment. All right. So we didn't mention the opening goal by Gignac from Davidson, who made a nice play, having himself a good preseason. Also, they uh, finished the playoff. Gignac tucks it underneath. And that was how the Habs started the game going up one, nothing. And then followed by Slavkovsky's second goal. We get into the second period and Kubalik is going to be a very, very important piece for the Ottawa centers this season. And going forward, I believe I watched him in Detroit. He got me some free coffee from Timmy's from the uh, Timmy's hockey app game. But uh, man, you know what? I think Kubelik's a fun player to watch. He's going to be really, really crucial to the center to success going forward. That's why they traded for him. And I think that uh, in that deal for Alex to that's a player you're going to want to keep an eye on if you're an Ottawa Senators fan, because he's going to produce, he's going to contribute notably for years to come, I believe, for the Ottawa Senators. Matthew Joseph had himself a game. He could have had three or four in this one. He had two goals that were basically almost the exact same coming down the left wing. He scored one on Jake Allen, one on Caden Primo, but basically a very, very similar goal from a similar angle. He went coast to coast on the first one against Jake Allen, a nice shot from Matthew Joseph. And then he could have had a hat trick, which would have iced this game and put the Habs away in the third period, but he missed a wide open net. So that didn't happen, fortunately. And then the Habs were able to turn the tide and take the game over from there. After Joseph missed on that glorious opportunity to bury it into the open net, Nick Suzuki comes down. He gets it to Cole Caulfield. He shoots on net with more intention to create a rebound, which is exactly what happened. At least that's the way it looked to me, like he was trying to do it on purpose. And Sean Monaghan buries that rebound. Welcome back, Sean Monaghan. Welcome back, Cole Caulfield. That was fun. It tied the game 3-3. And you know what? Just great to see these guys back in action, man. Not long after that, Matthias Norlander. Good to see him getting some nice reps in the preseason here. He's had a tough few years as part of the Montreal Canadiens franchise, a defenseman that they felt had some pretty decent offensive defenseman potential. He gets in the slingshot pass to Nick Suzuki. This time it actually works. All right, fine, fine. The slingshot pass works. It comes to Nick Suzuki. He gains the zone. He drops it to his buddy Cole. C Cole comes up. Nice little curl. He shoots it short side. He scores game over Habs win. Once again, he did impress me. Philip Machar. I, I tell you guys that I'm just, I love the way Machar plays. I love the way he skates. I love the way he creates out there. He creates a glorious chance. You guys saw it near the end of the third period. A great backhand feed on what looked like about a three on two. He slides it over to his man and he just misses the net. I actually believe that it was Davidson that actually missed the net. I could be wrong on that, but either way, Philip Machar with a beautiful sequence as he entered the zone and just kind of just barely using his peripheral vision to get a perfect pass over to Davidson. He misses the net, but what a glorious play 
from Philip Mashar, who was playing on the fourth line tonight, was playing center, but uh, had a pretty decent game overall. I just love the way Mashar plays. I keep pumping his tires, but I'm really excited to see him develop. He's not ready for the show yet this year, I don't think, but I just can't wait to see him be a Montreal Canadian full-time soon. Caden Primo, after coming in, did let in that goal for Matthew Joseph, but the rest of the way made all the saves that he needed to. Had a 944 save percentage at the end of this game, stopping 13 of 14 shots. Didn't have what to me looked like a ton of high danger chances. So I don't think he was tested all that greatly, but uh, Jake Allen looked okay. Also in uh, certain sequences in this game. And you know what? I just wish Caden Primo the best, no matter what happens with this guy, because he knows he's under it. He's un he knows he's under the scrutiny and the competition level is just constantly rising with Jacob Dobesh with eventually down the road, Jacob Fowler coming in with Sam Montembeau looking like the, Pretty much number one guy this season, although he's going to split, you know, the season with Jake Allen. But whatever happens happens with Caden, I wish him the best. And honestly, he's still part of the franchise, so the book is not closed on him still being someday an NHL goaltender. I don't know. I just can't decide fully on that one. But either way, that's all I got for this one, guys. It's a quick recap, and I thank you for watching. I appreciate the support, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.